My name is Brigitte Carter. I'm a principal of a comprehensive school in uh, the center of Berlin since 2016. And um, before that, I was um, uh, working in uh, bilingual schools in the John F. Kennedy School and um, the Nelson Mandela School. Oh, as I mentioned, the Holocaust. As I mentioned also within uh, the subject of the Holocaust, the existence of um, resistance and uh, the fact that um, uh, the reason why um, this resistance group has um, and have existed. And um, I think this is a very controversial thing. Um, the con another controversial thing is also the uh, end of the um, First World War. Um, and, and I would also say uh, the controversial thing is, um, yes, the, um, the division of, the, um, um, uh, of, of Germany, um, the way how it has happened. And I think everything is connected with, um, with the center of um, the last century. You know, the, all the politics, all the politicians, all the facts uh, uh, is centered of the, um, yes, of the beginning of a more national fascist um, a movement, not only in Germany, but also in, um, yes, in the center of Europe. Yes, and um, and that's why I think it is. Um, I I see also a danger right now, um, a danger that um, um, due to um, to the fact that the past or the contemporary history has become more and more history, um, the impact and the, or the importance of um, um, confronting students with. Um, with those kind of facts um, is going a little bit um, apart. And I think um, that's why it is, uh, it is, there is this uh, very big danger from, from, my, from my perspective that um, you think, or some groups think, okay, they can put, uh, or they can change um, the interpretation of the, um, of the past uh, in that way how it fits with their ideological um, um, position and um, with which their ideas. For example, I just saw an in, um, a photo my husband showed me um, of um, a group in Virginia, a group of um, 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 people, non-vaccinated people who always, um, who all, all wore um, the, the Jewish star in order to show, okay, the way um, um, uh, people are um, uh, treated uh, who are against vaccination, uh, you, you can compare it with, um, with the threats um, uh, Jewish um, people were focused on or confronted on. And I think this is, uh, for me, it is a really big danger and um, because it is, um, yes, uh, false facts. I think, you know, um, when I uh, started to do those kind of projects, um, I always wanted to reach the heart of the students. I always wanted to show uh, them, uh, to them the importance to understand, really to understand uh, what has happened. And I think, uh, and I'm still convinced, and um, you only can do it through um, bio biographical um, ex um, uh, examples and that's why I um, I found it very uh, and I find it very important to um, uh, to put in contact um, people um, yes survivors or people who um, had contact with survivors and with students and those kind of um, um, communication um, of examples of life examples I think they can help to um, to to give a bit a bigger understanding in the huge uh, picture of um, of history. Yes, for example, um, um, everything what is concerned with the so-called reunification. When you think about um, 
the reunification and the process of reunification, re re it um, has um, opened also lots of wounds, um, which were maybe covered for 28 years during the time of uh, the separation. And everything came up when, uh, when the reunification was, for example, the question of property. Um, who, um, and, um, and I think this is uh, how history is uh, getting uh, into um, or has an impact into the um, current poli politics, because especially when um, history hasn't, um, or in the, uh, in the past, um, problems hasn't been re resolved. For example, this, um, this um, uh, big problem or this big issue with this uh, former um, or the grandson or the uh, great, uh, great, great grandson of um, our former um, um, emperor who uh, thinks that he has still um, um, a right to get back um, the castles and uh, which had... Um, um, in 20, in 1928, which uh, the government of the Weimar Republic um, uh, put into um, yes, in, into national um, national property uh, because of the uh, yes, the guilt and the uh, responsibility of the emperor, and he rejected now these uh, kind of things. And I think it's it's really stupid. It's stupid, but you can see how much present, uh, how much the past is involved in, in in present. And then you have to be very very clear. Um, as um, um, as somebody, what uh, what is uh, what is the reason now? What is uh, what is the reason? Uh, why is he uh, dealing in those kind of um, in that way? I think uh, um, schools play um, a very big role, and I think it is also the. Um, um, the duty and the responsibility of principals to um, uh, to uh, to tell uh, and to explain to teachers and to parents how um, how much uh, schools have um, are also in a politi political um, position. For example, especially when um, um, a school is named after um, um, historical person, for example, our, like our school or like the Nelson Mandela school or like John F. Kennedy school, all those names um, have an impact and all those names will um, express something. And when when you don't deal with the name, I think uh, this, um, this is not good because um, these names, uh, John F. Kennedy, Nelson Mandela, and also Paula First, who was a, a Jewish um, principal, they have um, with those those kind of names. You have, you have the chance to um, teach your students also more um, the the value of humanity, humanity, and that's why I think it is um, schools have an impact, and um, they are in a certain way always political. In in the class years and. Um, you have the possibility to um, yes to to come along with your uh, your teachers and then you decide um, which kind of uh, way we we will go. But there are main goals every student has to to come to um, accomplish. You know, for example, that uh, it might be very important, for example, for history that they uh, students uh, at the age of um, sixteen. Um, uh, know something about um, yes, World War One and World War Two and the Holocaust, and I think this uh, should be one main goal. <laughs>